Hello, my name is Adam. Today we'll be going over some maintenance techniques for the equipment of Seabird Electronics. We'll now be talking about the SPE 5T pump. This is going to be used on the SPE 9, 19 plus, 16 plus. One of the more important concepts of this is to check the impeller and impeller shaft of the pump. And this is just done by removing the impeller end cap here. It will just unscrew. And you can see the impeller should be free spinning. You also want to check that there is a thrust washer and o-ring affixed to the top of the impeller. And then you want to check to make sure that there is about a millimeter gap between the impeller and the housing of the, the pump. When this is in the water, should you have no thrust washer underneath the impeller then when the impeller makes contact with the housing it can cause excessive friction and cause the shaft to break off an example of that would be this pump here which has undergone uh, had the shaft removed uh, broken off due to either uh, an o-ring not being in place or it being run in air for an excessive amount of time. To check this, you can remove the top O-ring the thrust washer and the impeller. You can check that the impeller magnet is whole and that there's a thrust washer present at the bottom of the shaft. You can also see if the shaft will break free if you uh, lightly move it. Once you've verified that, you can replace the impeller, the upper thrust washer, and the o-ring. And then replace the impeller cap. Sometimes this will be clogged with sand, sediment, silt, even seaweed, uh, so you want to rinse that out, reaffix it, and then reinstall the pump on the system. Thanks for watching our videos. If you have additional questions, you can find more documentation on our website or call or email us at seabird at seabird.com.